just finished another session. Kind of the babies in the park doing their thing. It's quite soothing. Now, I don't understand why everybody's gone silent on the Palestinian issue. You know, it feels to me like, you know, it was a bit of a trend. Oh yeah, man, it's a bit of a good get on this, mate. Yeah, that's be seen to be seen to be doing something. But really, you're not doing anything. You know, you got yourself on social media, you did your shit, you know, you took your photographs with the groups or whatever. And now you've all gone silent. You've all gone silent. I don't get it, right? You've all gone silent, right? The reality of the situation is you've all gone silent. And that's really disturbing. 1,500 people in the Selwyn, okay? I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm sorry. Have been displaced. Their homes destroyed. They had a choice. They could pay the Zionist regime to come and destroy their properties or they destroyed them themselves. Think about that. The Zionist regime has been persistently bombing the Palestinian people the moment after the ceasefire. There is no ceasefire, okay? And for those of you that are a bit stupid in the mind and go, well, you know, the, the, the Zionists, you know, the, the Zionists, you know, they're protecting themselves against Hamas. Hamas didn't exist until the 80s. It didn't exist until the 80s. It came about because of the destruction of the Palestinian people, right? And the Palestinian issue is not a Muslim issue. It's a humanitarian issue, okay? This is about Christians and Jews and Muslims that live in that little 20 mile stretch, okay? They are all Palestinian people. They all stand together. They all stand against the Zionist regime. It's not a Muslim issue. Remember that. People remember that. This is a humanitarian issue. And yet social media is silent. Where are all the brothers and sisters now? Where have you gone? I don't hear your voices on the street anymore. You know, what is it? was it like not trendy enough for you now? Oh, you know, it's not trendy. There's not enough people there now. I don't get it. I don't get you people. How would you feel if that was your country, your neighbourhood, your houses, like I've said in the past? How would you feel? You do anything at your disposal to protect what is yours. But hey, you know, Palestine isn't trendy anymore. But that's okay. Because some of us, like myself, will keep fighting. That's mentally, physically and spiritually. Against this horrendous, filthy... Zionist dictatorship. It's a dictatorship. There's an apartheid. But hey, it's all right. It's not happening to you, is it? You get to go home every night. You know, you get to chill out. You go out with your friends or whatever. You know, three meals a day, water, Wi-Fi. But it's all right for you, isn't it? Because it's not happening to you. It's not happening to your family. It's not happening to your friends. But hey, I have to keep forgetting. It's no longer a trend. Stand for Palestine. Stand for it. If you don't, you are not standing for humanity. If you're not standing for humanity, you're not standing for the very fabric of your own soul. Peace and blessings on you all.